South Africa could have at least one track medal at uh, this year's Paralympics. Luzain Katsia goes into Tokyo 2020 uh, with the experience of a 2016 debut behind her. This could be the difference as she attempts an unprecedented middle distance marathon double. ENCA Slonim Timkulu has more. A second shot at Paralympic glory beckons for Luzan Katsia. Born with an eye condition that impairs her vision, the 27-year-old has become much more confident since Rio 2016. This one for me is a lot different. I think I have a lot more on the line in the sense that I have developed as an athlete a lot um, from where I was in Rio to where I am now. Um, in Rio, I, was, I would say I was a potential finalist, but I would definitely say now I'm a potential medalist. In Tokyo, Luzon will attempt a unique double. Her main event is the 1500 meters. Six days after the middle distance final, the 27-year-old will line up in the marathon. It's an interesting combo. Um, the 1500 is definitely more the focus because um, that is where I have the potential to medal this year. Um, so the preparation is mainly for track. The marathon I will just use as a kind of like experience for going into the future for road running for me. Kutsia's running strategy requires two different guides, one for the track and one for the road. A veteran of 15 comrades and 11 Two Oceans marathons, road guide Klaus Kempen has been with Kutsia since 2016. If you do a marathon or any run with Luzon, it totally changes the way you see um, the, the race and the road. Um, so you, you, you differently look at, at uphills and downhills. Um, you are very much more aware of your surroundings. After missing out on competition for much of last year, Kutsia is happy to have her Paralympics prep back on track. Her next event is in next week's AGN meeting in Pretoria. Klonim Timkulu, Blomfontein.